Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Oscar vs. Trevor here, joined by Thomas, as always. And today we're talking about the latest David Fincher film, The Killer, just dropped on Netflix. We have both seen it. Um, and it's fine. It's okay. Like, Thomas, yeah. Thomas, you're a far bigger Fincher fan. I can't really call myself a Fincher fan. My favorite Fincher film is Mank. Yeah. So yeah, that... I mean, I love a lot of Fincher films, like Social Network's 5 out of 5, Seven's 5 out of 5, Fight Club's 5 out of 5. These are some of my favorite films of all time. I love Gone Girl. I really like Zodiac, things like Panic Room I have fun with. And I kind of think, yeah, if we're just doing general thoughts, I think this sort of sits right there in the middle of David Fincher's filmography. Um, there's stuff to like in it. I, I don't think it's a badly made film whatsoever. It just, for me, overall, lacks something that makes it great. It lacks potentially yeah. an emotional core is what I was looking for. And I didn't quite find within this film, which is a bit frustrating. But overall, I, I do. I would lean towards positive for this film. I think there's a lot to appreciate. I thought Fassbender was quite good. I mean, it's a subtle role, but he, he does bring the nuance there. He has great screen presence, as is very necessary for a role like this. Um, I thought the tension in moments was very good. Um, and yeah, I thought the story itself was, was quite an interesting one, um, and the thematic value of, of sort of exploring this man fighting against the system. It, it's very typical Fincher-esque stuff, yeah. but I mean, as I say, I, I really like a lot of Fincher's work. I still think a lot of the thematic depth is there and is to be found. So yeah, those be my, my overall thoughts about this film. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's fine. I don't feel negatively about it. Um, I, I think he does exactly what he's wanting to with this. Um, but it just, it does defend, like, I, Fincher's films often feel, like, so over-polished. Um, and it just, like, I, I feel like, one, the story would have served better if it wasn't so polished, like, the, the look of the film. But, I mean, like, it's, in a vacuum, it looks nice. Like it's 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 really well shot. Again, I don't know how much the the cinematography to make it like good cinematography. I think it has to like actually like service the themes and narrative. I don't know if it quite gets there, but yeah, I, I think like Fastbender works. I don't think the narrative is all that compelling. Um, I don't think it's very fresh or interesting. It just kind of feels like a retread of things that he's already done before. If I'm being honest, um, which is it's fine. It's just it's just not a very interesting film. I, I guess and it's i think it's quite obvious as well what it's yeah i mean i get what you're saying about the narrative um it does feel very much for me like it was just a vehicle to get from tense moment to tense moment to tense moment but i think yeah. the fact like is a video a game of, to me exactly but i think the fact is a lot of those tense moments did work for me and did and were sort of quite satisfying sure. so just because the narrative did was sort of just a vehicle to get to those when we got to those i was happy therefore like i can't complain too much about the, the way the narrative unfolded and all of those kind of things. I actually think more the problem in terms of screenplay is actually just the writing itself. Like the opening monologue yeah. that is happening. I was really put off by the first act. I thought the first act of this film was quite bad, or even not the first act, just the first sort of sequence. Yeah. I thought, what are we doing here? This feels very student filmy. Um, it it's very hard, did feel like a student film. Exactly. It felt like, oh, a screenwriter was sitting in his basement and just thought, oh, this would be, this sounds good on paper. This and it quirky. potentially would sound good on paper delivered by Fassbender in a very serious and a very reverent tone. I don't know. It, it just didn't quite mesh together for me. And so, yeah. yeah, I was pretty put off by the first sort of 10 minutes. But then then it did pick up. And, and I don't think the screenplay was too weak after that. It was too noticeably bad. But it was just, yeah, in certain moments, I was questioning where the writing was going, what the writing was doing. And it, it was very showy writing, but not earned showy writing, I guess, like you'd find in something like The Social Network or Fight Club. Sure, sure. I mean, I I wouldn't say that those films are it, but yeah, I, mean, I mean, yeah. I and this thing, like, I just, I, I know, I'm I'm largely apathetic towards the film as a whole. I do think that there are some interesting things. This almost feels weirdly like Fincher's most autobiographical, in a sense. Okay. And he is, he, he is well, he's exploring the ideas of like perfection, right? Yeah, which is yeah. obviously something that he's very well known for that he is a perfectionist and you know he touches up like pixels of the screen to make it look balanced like all these types of things and i think he's exploring that within this guy and like things going wrong and like you know the the having to get everything perfect for a client like i, I feel like there's something there but i wish it almost focused more on those moments and less on like again just like video gamey like move from this place to the next place and then you gotta hide and then you gotta you know go get this guy and all these like it just it felt it, it felt like if you just had like if there's like a thing where you could just like have all of the the story beats in the world 
laid out in front of you and then it was just like a puzzle where you just put them together it just felt so obvious like we're gonna do this thing and then we're gonna do this thing and then we're gonna do this beat and then this beat and then this beat and like they're organized like fincher's competent he's, he's a competent filmmaker like do i love all of his films no but like i i can admit that like yeah he's a he's a very competent filmmaker i think there's a difference between like thinking someone's a bad filmmaker versus just not enjoying their work like he he organizes those beats of the story and um like the way that they're shot and edited like it, it propels the tension along from beat to beat to beat and that that's all well and good but like it just felt so obvious and kind of just uninteresting um to where it didn't matter how how much the the filmmaking really served what he was doing i just struggled to care or get invested all that much and again that's not to say that like I, I again i don't think that this is a bad film but as i said it just it felt like like yeah you give like a film student like make a david fincher film and then this is like the best one that you find it's gonna be yeah. good but it just it doesn't it doesn't reach any sort of like interesting things it, it felt almost like a like a copy of a film rather than an actual film yeah, for sure. It definitely felt like Fincher was sort of... I, I don't think Fincher was working at his, his maximum capacity. It did feel a bit like he was just retreading, even, like, visual stuff that we've seen before, yeah. like, when the bullet fires from the gun and does, like, a quick zoom in or whatever. I, I've seen that before. We saw that exact same thing in Fight Club. And I think the problem is the film lacks notional core. Like, he's done stuff with very cold characters before, like The Social mm -hmm. Network. You know, Mark Zuckerberg is a very cold character. The narrator there's of Fight external Club. External thematic stuff. Exactly. Yeah. But there's external sort of stuff that you can connect with in there. And the world around them and the characters are very vibrant, very lively, very... So just because mm. your protagonist is potentially not necessarily where you're getting the emotional for, even though it is in many cases in those in those two films, um, there, there is still a liveness and, and a sense of, of energy surrounding the film. Well, I didn't quite find that here. Like Fassbender, I do think there is some cohesion in it, a case of glue in the fact that I, I do think we are sold onto his sort of inner psyche, and I do think much of that comes through from yeah. Darth Bender's performance. But around him, I felt the film was kind of lacking in any energy, uh, I guess, which would be, which, which is quite a big problem because it's a compelling character, but it's not one that you're going to get emotionally invested in, that just by the nature of him being a very subtle, very quiet, very reflective character. Like, it's not, it doesn't quite work when the film around him is not servicing the emotional core. Uh, or guess. because like i mean listen my favorite film ever is john dillman my favorite film of the year is perfect days these are films about like characters who we don't really get that much insight on just kind of like going through their day-to-day -day routine and like perfect days a bit more so like it, it reveals more of an emotional core but like something like john dillman like we don't really find an emotional core but it's doing again so much externally with its thematic work that like you can like that's the fo the focal point of the film is that it isn't necessarily about the character of Jean. It is about like everything that the film is doing and saying around her. Whereas this isn't, I know it's wild to compare Jean Dillman to the killer by David Fincher, but like, I like there's nothing really going on around the central character. I think the most interesting piece thematically is the almost self-reflective thing from Fincher about like the ideas of perfection, which is very directly intertwined in about the protagonist but yeah. if you don't do that much with the protagonist then then we can't really dive into anything interesting and there isn't much for the audience to engage with so yeah and i guess in many ways this could have even potentially been like a short film um i, I can yeah. see a lot of the same ideas been. like not not that the film is dragged out or paced poorly i think it's paced yeah. quite well with like it delivers the beats where it needs to but a lot of the beats feel like they're not servicing anything overall they're just sort of happening again so, they're, they're, like not, i feel like it could have been condensed yeah. into even a short film and a very good short film of exploring just this character just as in a psyche um and potentially hinting at this complex sort of web of mystery or whatever and intrigue but not actually yeah. revealing it sort of allowing you like allowing the audience to be in his position and not really understanding fully what's going on that could have been very interesting as it stands it almost it feels like a netflix film which obviously is a weird thing to say because it is a netflix yeah. film but it felt like a lot of the beats are just, I've seen it before. I've seen it before. It's not, like a it, good it didn't Netflix feel like film. an event film. Exactly, a good Netflix film. Um, but And a good Netflix film sort of equates to it, in my mind, a middling David Fincher yeah. film, which is where which is where this film sort of sits. It's bad. It's not bad by any means. There's stuff there to like. It's a breezy watch. It delivers pretty much exactly what it wants to deliver. I just don't know if it what it wanted to deliver is really that worth it, I guess. I agree. It, it just no. sort of 
sticking with you and in terms of emotional resonance. I 1000% agree. Um, but yeah, I think that those are generally our thoughts on the killer. Uh, I don't have too much else to, to say um, unless you do. Um, no, I think we can do scores. I'd be looking at probably a seven out of 10 for this film. Yeah, I'm looking at a six. Again, yeah. I didn't dislike the film um, at all. I, I think it's like it, it works as a piece of entertainment. Um, yeah. And similar to kind of how I felt about Zodiac, which I know that you like that film a lot more. Yeah, but, I like it a lot more. Yeah. yeah. But like it just again, it works as a piece of entertainment. I don't dislike watching it. I wouldn't hate if I had to watch it again. Um, it just it's giving me very little to to work with, um, I yeah. guess. So but, you know, not bad, not bad. Um, but as far as awards, no, it's not getting anything. Exactly. No, like, I mean, people have been talking about but I think the problem is people have been talking about a variety of texts for this film. There's not yeah. been one that people are signaling out and, and going, yes, cinematography or yes, sound. It's like, yes, I yeah, I mean, it could happen for cinematography. It could happen for sound. And if the passion's not there for the film, generally, those sorts of things are just fundamentally not. And people didn't happen, even so. know that this was coming out. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I've not seen the real buzz for it. I've not seen the real passion for it. And I, it's not the type of film that gets the get gets yeah. passion like that. So yeah, I, I'll just it, see. This like, Fast could moments. randomly get Globe Drama actor because the field could, is so big. Yeah. It and could it pick six. up a couple critics awards. But yeah, so yeah, not massive things in terms of this award season. No means a mank sort of adventure. Yep. Absolutely, absolutely. But those are our thoughts on the killer. Um, you can follow us on social media in the link in the description if that is something that you are interested in. Um, but plenty more videos coming up: Grammys, Emmys, Oscars, film, movie, movie, films and movies. Same thing. TV, music, um, all of the things. But until then, thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.